Welcome to Vet to Vet. Uh, it's been a little while, so I need to introduce myself again. I'm Conrad <laughs> Kaskowski, United States Air Force veteran. And social distancing away from me is Dwayne Wick, United States Army veteran. Um, our show will be talking about uh, issues directly toward veterans. And we're going to go into and explain that a little bit more in case you're wondering about these hats. Um, I'm a member of the Plymouth American Legion Post as adjutant. Uh, Dwayne is also a member, and he happens to be our district vice commander. So the entire show, and we're really going to go through this uh, kind of fast, so pay attention, sit upright, and um, we're going to be talking about the COVID-19. Well, what else? Because we haven't been on the show a while, and that's what's been keeping us off. Now, um, let's... Let's go over it one more time. What's COVID-19? And what are we going to be doing? We're going to be doing a lot of reading uh, from papers, and this is directly from the Veterans Administration website that you can go to to verify what we're saying at www.va.victoralpha.gov. www.va.gov. So what's COVID-19, you ask? The CDC uh, COVID-19 rates... Uh, COVID-19 is a disease caused by a new type of coronavirus. The virus that causes COVID-19 belongs to a large family of vi viruses that are common in people and in different animal species. On rare occasions, animal <laughs> coronavirus can affect people and then spread from person to person. So, people with COVID-19 can have a wide range of symptoms and they can be from mild to severe, such as fever, chills, cough, shortness of breath, difficulty breathing, fatigue, meaning you're tired all the time, muscle, body aches, and headache. Also, other symptoms that have been uh, realized have been a new loss of taste or smell, sore throat, uh, congestion or runny nose, nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea. And Just some people go over it one more time. And some people don't have any of those symptoms. Mm, correct. <laughs> so, anyway, now as a veteran enrolled in the VA Veterans Administration Health Program, what should I do if I have one of these symptoms? Well, if you have any of the symptoms, please call your. Again, this is for if you're in the Health Benefit Program, call your VA medical uh, center before going to the clinic, the urgent care center, or emergency room. Contacting them first helps to protect you, the medical staff, and other patients. So before you barge over there, please call them. And for the local veterans, you know what that is. That's the Cleveland VA at 920-693-5600, 5600. Now, can I be tested for COVID-19 at a VA health care facilities? Now, they offer diagnostic testing for veterans who are enrolled in the VA health care and meet the CDC testing criteria. Now, at this time, they are not charging a copay for testing. Now, to get a, a test, you must have an appointment. You can re request an appointment in any of three ways. You're very savvy on the computer. You probably uh, have a direct secure message with your uh, health provider and your health providing team. Uh, you can uh, schedule an appointment online or um, you can call. Now for We're talking about our local veterans here in the Plymouth area, Sheboygan County, most likely you're uh, dealing with the Cleveland Clinic and that's 920. 693-5600. So, Wayne, what is the VA doing to deal with COVID-19? Okay, well, first I want to point out that if you are going to be um, making a, an appointment or you can have your uh, prescriptions filled, you would need to set up an account through the uh, myhealth.va.gov. Again, when you go on computer, every, every time you do something, they want you to have an account set up. So you'd set up an account with them and uh, you'd have a lot more um, uh, resources available through that account. 
numbers, uh, we'll just quickly go over some numbers. So far, the VA has tested uh, 787,223 veterans and employees for COVID-19. This as, uh, is as of October 12th. There are 9.21 million patients enrolled in the VA health care, uh, in, in VA health care. Of those that are, have been uh, tested of that over 787,000, 58,000 um, have COVID-19. Um, some, other, some other figures are, um, there are almost 400,000 VA employees uh, in the virtual care. You can set up uh, with them telecare, which is similar to what we have the, the Zoom virtual um, ability to, to, see, uh, to see one another and talk with one another online. They call it uh, telehealth. You can, you can set that up with them. Uh, you can get, like I said, you can do prescriptions refills through the, through the myhealth.va.gov. Uh, you can do messaging through that to uh, get questions answered. Uh, they do a periodic news release about COVID-19. They've done 56 so far. And uh, uh, in, in outreach, uh, let's see, they said uh, on their chat line, they've had over 100,000 visitors through their, th through their chat line. So that's kind of the, the basics of what um, the report that comes out weekly will update. Uh, so it'll be health care, virtual care, uh, the media outreach, and uh, the veteran outreach. Um, so you say, what if I don't have symptoms, but I feel anxious and overwhelmed uh, because of uh, all of this that has been going on? First of all, you're not the only one that has, has those feelings and, and uh, is in that situation. And the VA is there for you. If you have concerns about this uh, and you're stressful, um, they will help you out with uh, giving giving you uh, suggestions as to what you can do to help your, to you manage your stress and to get su support. Now, the big thing is to stay in, in touch with uh, your friends and your family uh, by phone or social media and try to maintain some type of norm, normal uh, connection and uh, make sure that you get enough sleep and exercise if you don't, if you're not getting enough sleep and exercise, that can also lead to other uh, stress-related issues. Another big thing is to get the flu shot, and uh, uh, with the flu shot season coming up upon us, you can get that through the Cleveland Clinic, and they are offering that by appointment only, and they actually. Uh, when I and Conrad had been up there and gone through that, they had a drive-through, so you didn't even have to get out of your car. They had uh, gave you a time that you had to be there, and you just go through, roll down the window, um, answer some questions, uh, in some cases fill out a little form, and get your shot. Uh, there was no charge for that. Um, Keeping another th big issue is keeping your existing mental health appointments, if you have those, and uh, just uh, staying in contact with them if you if you feel stressful. If you have again any questions as to what to do, how to contact them, you always have your local uh, source of your Sheboygan County Veterans uh, Service Office at nine two zero. Nine or four five nine three zero five three. Now I know you've heard the question and you've had it yourself. Other people have asked, should I get that flu shot this year? Definitely yes. Both the flu and COVID nineteen can lead to serious illnesses and even death. 
They may even be more dangerous if you get them at the same time. So your risk of serious illness is even higher if you're over the age of 65 and you have health problems such as diabetes. So get your flu shot early as you can. And it's the best way to protect yourself, your friends and your family. Now, uh, you can get this if you are enrolled in the VA healthcare uh, program uh, at these locations, your nearest healthcare facility, again, Sheboygan County, most of us are familiar with the Cleveland Clinic. You can contact them. Again, you have to call. Call ahead of time. And again, 920-693-5600. 920-693-5600. Now, uh, some people uh, don't like to drive up there, and they would like to kind of use somewhere around here locally. Now, the VA has approved some v retail pharmacies and they're within the VA community care network. But again, you need to call ahead and um, confirming their services, their hours, and make sure that they have the type of flu shot you need. Now for us uh, older uh, folks, uh, you have to get that senior booster. And uh, that's, that's pretty important to get that. And again, make sure that you bring your proper uh, VA ID information with you. And then you can also use uh, within, oh, in some of the areas that, that we were talking about, you can go to Walgreens, Walmart, CVS. That, that's just a couple of them. Now, just to make sure, and again, if you go to www.va.gov, this information I'm gonna talk to you about is, um, the flu shot information, not only for veterans, uh, but it's also for the provider. And it kind of looks like this. And it's a good idea uh, when you get to that website, download this information and uh, kind of read the, the top half refers to you. This half all is to your provider. They should know this already, but you may run into somebody um, brand new on the job or whatever and they're kind of looking at you a little puzzled, and this part will help them uh, get through that, hopefully. You can also uh, uh, get through like uh, through uh, Aurora uh, and uh, Privia with, uh, through St. Nicholas, et cetera. Um, as long as uh, you have been uh, with that network within the past 24 months. That makes it a whole lot easier. Now, uh, again, make sure you check uh, on your eligibility. So you may be watching this and you go, oh, brother, you know, I'm not in that as VA uh, healthcare program, so what about me? A lot of times for you veterans that are not in this uh, uh, program, uh, you know, you, you can go to Walgreens and these other places and you might be able to find out you can get it for free. But what we're trying to stress is please uh, consider that flu shot. So Dwayne, I just asked, if you're not enrolled, what do you do? Right, so if you're not enrolled in the VA healthcare program, um, you can apply it to, to see if you are eligible. And by doing that, by phone, you can call the Sheboygan County Veterans Service Office, 920-459-3053, and they will set up an appointment for you, tell you what information you need to bring with you, and uh, you'll fill out an application. Uh, that would be physically going in and doing this, and they will let you know if you are uh, eligible and uh, if you will receive the, or, or be um, enrolled in the VA healthcare system. Online, you can also go uh, to www.va.gov and uh, look for the form 1010EZ. This will be all the same information that they would be getting from you to uh, uh, fill out that application and see if you can be enrolled into the VA healthcare system. It says, read the first page it will let you know what information you will need to complete the application. So, um, what, uh, do you have any more things to add to? 
our, okay. our program okay, here folks, today. Okay, folks, that's it. Our sh that's it for our show. We got some information, hopefully, to help ease your worries. But please, please, uh, go ask for help. Thank you for watching. It's from myself and Dwayne. Stay safe and be healthy.